Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. Guess where I'm at today? Boost Stop Hobby, Cedar Falls, Iowa. So my mother's in the hospital and I'm at the hobby shop after visiting her. And I'm going to show you some things that, uh, again, you don't normally see on the Monday and Wednesday shows. So uh, follow along. And if you see things you want, give Carol a call because like, they might be here. So lots of O scale figures. And if you need any HO scale figures or animals, this tub, <laughs> it's full of HO scale stuff. I think there might be a little bit of N scale in here as well, as well as some other odds and ends. But what's that? Oh, interior set. Oh, neat. Just anything and everything. And some sort of a video game. I have no idea what that is. But this is in the area. That's by the HO scale decals and the throttles for the test tracks. You know, and half the fun of coming to the hobby shop is looking through the drawers, seeing what you can find. Tons of detailed stuff. All kinds of things. And if you're needing anything special, see something. Carol a call. Man, that's heavy. Wow. That's nice. HO scale cement mixer. And over in here is the scenic materials that are left after I got essentially a tote <laughs> that I bought from here in the past couple of months for my layouts. There's lots of stuff.
true. Okay. There's a few of us that model in uh, ON30, and they do have quite a few ON30 cars in stock at this point. At least relatively speaking, I bought <laughs> quite a few of them here, here this week. Here. As well as a lot of uh, ON3. Anything and everything. Well, that's good. But you watch, watch Monday night if you can. Yeah, that's right. A variety of O scale yeah. equipment. If you're a scratch builder, <laughs> you've got plenty of materials for that. that. This is mostly metals, various other plastruck, variety of things in there. Positions. A variety of stuff down here that's heavy, hydrocal stuff, tunnel portals, a variety of more odds and ends, a lot more blocks of wood and balsa, lots and lots and lots of stuff.
and hidden treasures. <laughs> I just opened up this box. I hadn't looked at it before either. Oh, I'm going to have to rummage through this one see what we got. Ah, nice. A lot of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to rummage. So after the hobby shop, I am now back in my hotel room, staying in a hotel over in uh, Waterloo, Iowa, which Waterloo, Cedar Falls, basically one city. I did bring materials and uh, to build some trees. And I built four trees that I donated to the uh, O-Scale Model Railroad Club that's at the bottom, or in the basement of uh, Caboose Stop Hobbies. Dropped that off this afternoon. And now I'm back in the hotel room and I, uh, <laughs> I bought a few things. <laughs> uh, I had a relaxing Saturday afternoon at the hobby shop. So uh, I had spent probably a couple of hours in the hobby shop even before I started to film the uh, clips for this video. I uh, picked up a lot of things, probably more than I need, but you know what, it's model railroading. You're always gonna find a use for things. So over on this side is more scenic materials. Uh, a whole lot of uh, pico and notch static grass, as well as some, uh, again, woodland scenics, uh, ground cover, uh, foliage materials. Some uh, weathering uh, chalks, uh, pastels, timberline powders, I guess. As well as uh, got this nice uh, front end loader. This was uh, originally gonna be on the Wednesday night show but uh, I was there earlier than that. Uh, so this is like my second time back to the hobby shop since I got into, into Waterloo, Cedar Falls, and I bought that <laughs> when I was here earlier in the week. Over here, all O-scale. So uh, an O-scale police car, which is the right age. Uh, so that's gonna be the, uh, the cops that are gonna try to bust my moonshiners. Uh, I've got a variety of other things in here, you know, passengers that can be painted up, some of them already are. A lot of uh, artista figures, as well as a variety of other figures. So uh, a whole host of different things that are people and workers in different positions that I can put on the O-scale layout. So I'm quite happy about that. And uh, over here, uh, some gondolas that I bought as well. Uh, there's some more people in there. So a lot of stuff that's going to go on the model layout. Also, I've got uh, some uh, freight wagons. Uh, they did have uh, a fair amount of ON30 cars uh, and an engine, but I didn't get the engine. I've already got the engine. So I picked up some here. So one of these, there it is, a caboose, painted but unlettered. So I'm going to have a caboose running behind my uh, train when I get back. I still will put together that uh, 3D printed kit that I bought as well. Then, uh, you know, Pennsylvania Railroad, Pennsylvania Railroad. Then uh, over here, power cable for an NCE power cab, which is uh, what I've got. So just a spare. Never hurts to have that. A host of ON30 freight cars. Now, I say ON30, 
when uh, these are actually ON3 right now, but I will uh, get either new wheel sets or new trucks to uh, make them ON30 so that they can run on my layout and I'll keep the trucks that are on them in case I ever go to ON30. Over here, just a plastic kit, uh, 10 bucks. Uh, looks like a little factory kind of thing. Uh, you know, I'll put it together and it might actually fit in that little switching area on my ON30 area. Uh, so we'll see. If not, I'll just have some fun building it. So not a bad haul. This time, I do not have to send this back via UPS since I drove uh, from Virginia to here due to having multiple flights canceled and said the heck with it, I can uh, drive faster than uh, flying. So I drove out, so I'll be able to take all this back when I do end up having to uh, return home here. So anyway, that's going to be it for this one. You know, we'll uh, keep everybody posted on how progress is uh, with my mom and, you know, my adventures here in Iowa. But for that, keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.